had their struggles with against Texas Southern. Gave up 29 offensive rebounds. Yeah, they definitely got to work on that. Here's Brown with the three ball, and he hits his first three of the season. My I bad, Sam Ford. Sam Ford, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, it's an early start for the Pac-12 play. You know, it is an early start for the Pac-12 as Maldonado hits the deep ball. Back in the day with all this beautiful footwork going on. Matthews shot fake from three, and then he flushes it. Can't get that one to go, but Fuller grabs the offensive rebound, kicks it to Davis, and he sets that one home. Well, Dejon Davis hit two big threes against Texas Southern. The shot fake, and now it gives away Maldonado to Dussel. Working on Bajima. That's good defense. Oh, and he gets it to go anyway. Somehow he got that one high and off glass. We talked to him about that. What's a poke? I have no idea. I still don't understand what it is. Whoa! Big time hit That's a from poke Dusa. right there, ladies. <laughs> a poke from three, ladies and gentlemen. But if you keep going and keep your faith, you can achieve anything you want. And Jarrell Brown, the leading scorer, is at it again tonight for the Huskies. <laughs> oh, pretty move spinning away for Maldonado. All three of those when he played for Seattle University. But Jarrell Brown can score the rock. Oh, big make there by X Ducell. And Jarrell Brown says, get up, everybody. Let's hear you. DK is tight, there's no doubt about it. They got that one to go. We got a tied ball game here with 28 seconds left. And he's got 29 huge points tonight for us. He averaged 17 a game at Seattle U, but just seven last year. Oh, is Odin, that was soft. But in the end, it is Wyoming getting the win in overtime, 77 to 72.